Spirit and the Bride say, Come, and let him who hears say, Come. Whoever is thirsty, let him come, and whoever wishes, let him take the free gift of the water of life. The Spirit who gives the water of life is God the Father. Then, who is the Bride who gives the water of life along with God the Father? Some insist that the Bride who gives the water of life is the saints. They say it's because the saints receive the water of life from God and deliver it to people. When the saints receive the water of life from God and just deliver it to people, can they say that they themselves give it to them? For example, let's think about a postman who delivers mail. Does the postman say he gives mail? No, he doesn't. That's because to give and to deliver are entirely different. Moreover, what will happen if we say that we are the ones who give when we give something that is God's? Must we bring you water out of this rock? Moses said this as if he had been the one who brought out water from the rock. As a result, he could not enter Canaan. In the same way, if the saints say that they give the water of life when they only deliver it, what will happen to them? They will never enter the heavenly Canaan. The one who gives the water of life is God. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To him who is thirsty, I will give to drink without cost from the spring of the water of life. Then, who is God who gives the water of life in this age? The Spirit and the Bride say, Come. And let him who hears say, Come. Whoever is thirsty, let him come, and whoever wishes, let him take the free gift of the water of life. Who is the bride who gives the water of life together with the Holy Spirit? Come, I will show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. And he carried me away in the Spirit to a mountain great and high and showed me the holy city Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God. The bride, the wife of the Lamb, is heavenly Jerusalem. What does the Bible call the bride, the wife of God the Father, that is, heavenly Jerusalem? But the Jerusalem that is above is free, and she is our mother. The bride, the wife of God the Father, is mother of the children who are saved. We hope that you will receive eternal life through the water of life which God the Father and God the Mother give.